How to set up and connect your MIDI keyboard to FL Studio is quite simple. I'm gonna show you how right now. So, first thing you need to do is to plug in your MIDI keyboard. So, let's do that right now. When you plug in your MIDI keyboard, if you're on Windows, you should hear that sound as you heard in the background, that duh, duh, duh. That's how you know that your keyboard is connected properly, which is super important, because if it's not connected properly, the rest of this won't work. Next step is to go to options, then go to MIDI settings. Next step is super important, but before we get to that, if you wanna learn how to create your own trap beats from scratch, you can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula in my free music production course. That course will take you from making your melody all the way to mastering your beat. Links down below, go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course. It's completely free, so you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this course because it won't be free and available forever. Join now, link down below. Let's get back into it. Next step is to click on your MIDI device. We're currently using the FL Key Mini MIDI. Generally, this will be here, but it won't be enabled. You won't see this green power button here. So you need to click the enable button in order to make it work. As you can see, if it's not enabled, you can't hear anything. But if we click enable, now it works. Here are a few troubleshooting methods that should help solve any problems that you may have when you're trying to set up and connect your MIDI keyboard in FL Studio 20. First thing is to unplug and replug your MIDI keyboard. That's the first thing you should try if you're not able to make your MIDI keyboard work. Second thing is to install the driver for your MIDI keyboard. In order to do this, you wanna to go to Google, then search for the name of your MIDI keyboard plus driver plus download. Once you type that in, you should easily find a download link to the driver for your MIDI keyboard from the manufacturer that made your MIDI keyboard. Third thing to do is to close any other programs that you're not currently using that may also be using your MIDI keyboard. Honestly, it may just be best to completely restart your computer so that you're only using FL Studio and you know that your MIDI keyboard's only connected to FL Studio. For example, I had Studio One running and when I went into FL Studio, it wouldn't allow my MIDI keyboard to work because that had already been taken over by Studio One. So make sure that you're closing any other programs so that your MIDI keyboard is only being used by FL Studio. And lastly, if everything above is not working, then the last thing that you should do is contact the manufacturer that made your MIDI keyboard. Go to the support forums, contact customer service. Remember, you paid for this MIDI keyboard, so you can contact the people who made the MIDI keyboard and ask them to help you make it work. They'll be able to help you with your specific keyboard way more than I'll be able to help you in the comment section. So make sure you do that. And if you do all these four things, as well as follow the steps in this tutorial correctly, be sure to rewind and rewatch just in case you didn't follow the steps correctly, then everything should work out and your MIDI keyboard should be set up and connected in FL Studio, ready for you to use. And that's that, that is how you do it. Super easy, super straightforward, didn't take you a lot of time. Now you can use your MIDI keyboard in FL studio if you like this video you should watch my video on how to record midi link in the description and over there i'll see you in the next one peace out